This is not good. This is not good. Oh, he's gonna take. I think I'm in the. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good at all. This. I'm not. I'm. I'm so broke. <laughs> You've seen Bucky's, right? You've seen the gas station? Yeah. It's like Bucky's on steroids out here in Florida. Welcome to Florida, y'all. It's Weston Smith, man, and we are about to have a good old time out here. We just made the cross country trek. Devin behind the camera, young pub Zeke. Fishing with Becca is actually joining us today. She's flying in and it is actually her birthday. We're gonna have a good old time making some awesome content for you guys, hitting some salt water. We brought the kayaks, man. We towed the trailer all the way out here. Today's episode, by the way, is sponsored by Carl's bait and tackle where we got all of the baits to throw on this trip so we cannot thank them enough for that. Carl's bait and tackle, you guys know this is where we go to grab all of our goodies. With that being said, let's give you the little tour of the place. Check this thing out. This is where we're gonna be for the next week. We got the dying, we got the living, and then follow me to the master bedroom. Perfect uh, for, perfect spot to just, I don't know, rig some baits. Get ready for the ocean, you know, kayak sesh. Devin's laughing. Uh, yeah, master bath. Lush. Ventures. We gotta save that for last. Okay, Zeke, what's over here? We got the mermaid. Welcome to the beach. We got the almighty coffee maker. This thing can accommodate you. Look, you wanna use the pods? Uh, you can do it. Flex. This thing is like built to accommodate. You want to brew some beans? Go ahead. It's got you covered. Back here, the spare bath. Spare bedroom. Okay, what you've all been waiting for? Check us out. Oh my gosh, look at this right here. Flat screen TV. I mean, we might have to do some catch and cooks in the backyard, y'all. Go pick us up a grill. I don't even know. We might do some underwater footage of some baits. What do we got? Oh, we have the grill. Turns out there's a grill right there. <laughs> so yeah, we might do some catch and cooks for you guys. Becca is literally on her flight right now with another special guest. So you guys got a lot to look forward to. We're gonna have a ton of fun out here. Might do some underwater lure footage in the pool. We can take advantage of the stuff we don't have out in our backyard. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. All right, y'all, next morning, and it is windy, windy, windy. Hurricane Ida is supposed to be hitting Central America like probably right now, and it brought with it a bunch of wind. So we are tucked into a little canal. We're gonna be hitting a bunch of docks. We're gonna be going live versus artificial shrimp on you guys today's video. It's gonna be pretty epic. We stopped by a local bait shop, grabbed some live shrimpies. And uh, I'm here with Fishing with Becca, man. You guys have never seen her on the channel, but you gotta be sure and check her out, link in the description. We're gonna be throwing some of the new salt native artificial shrimp versus some of the live shrimp we got in the bucket for you guys. See what we can't put together, what hits, what does not. We've got the Old Town Canoes. She's gonna be rocking the pedal drive. I'm gonna be on the Autopilot 120. We're getting everything loaded up, but I just wanna tell you what's on the agenda. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the gear here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and get everything ready to rock. What's his name? It's Racco. Racco? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> It's only going to get windier and windier, and I assume we're uh, going to be in for it if we try and... Yeah. You have a good one. Oh, yeah, you got to lock the bottom. Oh, you'll be all right. Oh, my gosh. It's going to go. And then on the left is your steering. <laughs> I got Becca's paddle. I didn't charge the battery fully after last night, so hopefully this thing's ready to rock and roll. All right, we're locked and loaded. Here we go. Drop down the prop. Got steering with the pedals now. Push left to go left. Push right to go right. Ain't no thing. Autopilot 120, man. Check these things out. Linked in the description. Our absolute favorite kayaks. I'm catching up with Becca right now. We're about to get fishing. All right, y'all. So as we work through some of these docks, I'm thinking I'm going to tie on the salt native skelly shrimp first. We're going to go artificial on them, and then we'll break out the live here in maybe a half hour to an hour. Okay. By the way, we're currently spot locked and 15 mile an hour winds with the autopilot always coming in handy, man. All right, let's see what this little shrimp does. It pretty much looks like the shrimp in the bucket here. Oh, oh, I just had a big whip at it right below. This is, there's some, I don't know what they are. <laughs> they might be, oh my God, they're swarming. 
He's got it. Oh, that he got away. <laughs> Lawson, how do you work the scully shrimp? <laughs> I need some pointers. I swiped. There we go. Oh, I got side swiped again just a second ago. Yo, oh, I had him. Yo, I just got a FaceTime from Becca. She says I need to join her at the juice. This is my spot. This is where I found the fish. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, she says she's looking at what could be a grouper, so I'm about to see what this is all about. Easy. boy. You know, a few kayak trips break a lot of sh <laughs> That's for sure. It all happens so fast, too, and then your gear just broke. <laughs> yeah, you never have time to be like, oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, on a kayak, uh-uh. All right, Becca's hauled off the first fish, man. I got to get in the zone. She's throwing a swim bait. I might switch up to a swim bait or a jerk bait, but also I want to test out this new salt native of jig and spoon type of deal. It's uh, I think this one's a half ounce. What's happening? <laughs> All right, so Becca and I are just warming up. We're, we're giving them the appetizers right now. We're going with uh, some different salt native products. This is the Skelly Swimmer right here, or I guess the Skelly Swim. It looks like almost a, a sardine, which is kind of what I was recommended to throw out here. We are gonna rock this guy on this little jig head. Look at that little swim bait head she got. There we go, that's what Becca caught her grouper on. We are pumped to throw this. Let's get that thing in the water. I think that was what was running. Oh, just had, oh, got a little guy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I literally don't know how to grab these fish. Uh-oh, there goes the reel in the water. That's not good. All right, bud. There we go, first one of the day. <laughs> in the books. I don't know how to handle half these fish, so I probably won't handle most, but that is the first one in the yak on the salt native six pack 3.5 inch skelly swim mullet color getting it done wheels to the remote yeah this thing's fancy it's it's this one's over the top this <laughs> so i've got it on that spot lock feature right now so it's keeping me in a position so like if she's not pedaling she'll float away but if i'm like on a good fishing spot you're there it's like a little bass boat <laughs> i mean oh oh Oh, oh, it's a monster. It's a trout. No way. Look at what we got here on the Scully Swim. Oh, second fish in the yak for me. Becca's saying this is some sort of speckled trout, some speckled sea monster trout. I don't know. Uh, you guys are going to have to let us know down in the comments, but he has got some buck teeth. Like, he will mess you up. Yeah. You've seen Bucky's, right? You've seen the gas station? Yeah. It's like Bucky's on steroids out here in Florida. So anyways, I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. The Scully Swim Salt Native, 3.5 inch mullet color. This fish are smoking, man. Go on, kid. Stop playing. That's the release shot we need for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish, man! I, I knew it was coming. He was fine. I had him in the water. There's no way he's gonna go out that easy, salt water. Okay, so after a quick consultation with my friend Google, we found out this is either the speckled trout, just like Becca said, or a spotted sea trout. So one or the other, probably one and the same anyways. Oh, just got smashed. Oh my God. Well, now that we've got a couple fish in the boat, maybe I'll tell you about the gear we're rocking. This is the 3000 spool size Stratix CI4. It's got kind of like this power handle right here compared to, this is a, a 2500 we've got. And you'll see it's just got that uh, standardized Shimano handle. So that's the comparison right there. Spool size is just a little bit bigger. Handle, a little bit larger. This is just like a seven foot medium heavy rod right here. Nothing crazy. I'm not going with the big salt water stuff on this excursion, but we do have a charter book tomorrow where I'm sure we're gonna be throwing the real heavy, heavy gear. I got some 50 pound braid. So this is the Guggen Squad 50 pound braid. I've got that double uni knotted to a leader line of uh, 20 pound Guggen Squad fluorocarbon. You guys can grab all that stuff at Carl's Bait and Tackle. We'll have it linked down below. As same with the swim bait that's catching all these fish. I'm getting hits right now. There's fish fighting over it. There's like three fish on it. Wow. When they get to the kayak though, they see the kayak and they stop munching at it. What seems to be the money for me today is not even casting towards a lot of the structure, but literally just right down the middle. It seems to be where a lot of these fish are hanging out. So I'm just kind of fan casting. I'm varying up my retrieve too. It's been just a pretty medium, like moderate pace. I found if you reel this guy in pretty fast, he gets a little bit of body roll. There's nothing wrong with that. But if I'm reeling him at this nice little moderate pace right here, then he's got just a Nice little elegant tail kick, looking like he's trying to flee the scene. I've been getting a lot of hits on it. You. Oh, swinging a hit. Oh, Becca, Becca, 
Oh, we got something here. He's gonna take me in the docks. Oh, okay, all right, we've got something here. Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, Becca. Hey, I need a spot lock right now. <laughs> oh, we've actually got something. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, he's gonna take, I think I'm in the, oh no, oh no. This is not good at all. This, I'm not, I'm, I'm so broke. <laughs> this is, I'm so broke. Oh my, how is this line not broken? What is happening right now? It's 30, 20. Oh, did, did he come back out? Oh my, he's got me wrapped around. Okay, I gotta go over there. Yep. Tighten it? No, there's no, there's no, this thing is going crazy. <laughs> there's no tightening. Hold on, just, just hold on. Oh my god. What is happening right now? Oh my. I don't know what I'm wrapped around, but this is not good. He's got me like way down there. Oh my goodness. Becca, this is the one. Oh, he's gonna snap me off so quick. This is literally the fifth <laughs> of the Florida Florida. He's out, he's out, he's out. He's, he's out? out. Yeah, he, he just runs. Oh, oh. No, I knew it was gonna happen. There's too many muscles on that thing. He had me, he, look, he went in there yeah. and he went all the way down. He probably did like a puzzle. Just, Dang. that was insane. <laughs> Oh my god, out of nowhere, what was that? Wow, okay, I do not want to have to retie. I'm retying in the shade of this Boston Whaler. Look at what I found in our salt water bag from a previous vacation. Some 30 pound fluoro, so we got a 10 pound stronger rated leader. That was uh, just about to be expected. The only way I could have maybe caught that fish is if I had the drag cranked on a reel that's probably twice as heavy duty as the Stratic and uh, just literally horsed the fish in. So that wasn't gonna happen with this light gear. Okay, after a long intermission, we are back online. Got one? Oh! Yeah, that's not, that's not what I caught earlier. No. Got him. Yep. Definitely a small mouth. <laughs> it's another, it's another bucktooth trout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm on the trout. Oh! <laughs> I was like, okay, flip him up. <laughs> Time to flip him up in the boat. <laughs> oh, speaking of the master. You are like the dock master. <laughs> oh, trout, trout. No way. I can't tell. Yes, it is, it is, is the trout. trout, all right. Dude. Becca's on with her first oh. trout. Trout game so strong. No way, Becca's on the live shrimp. Little snapper, that's sick, dang, that's a cool pattern. Wow, bloop. All right, y'all, so I'm throwing a semi-live, semi-not-live shrimp. This is my first attempt at the uh, live stuff. Let's see what happens here. You're just casting and letting it sit, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. This is the light gear right here. We about to go for a ride on this one. Like, I'm talking about very light. No way. Oh. Oh, I was on. Yep, yep, you have to. Mess that up. I wonder if I've got a little bit of the shrimp left or not. I might need to, might need to verify. I don't with you. <laughs> there we go. I'm on. I got something. Oh, I got a decent size. I got a flounder. No I got a flounder. No and something's chasing it. That's so sick. Something is chasing it, trying to eat it too. How do I uh, how do I hold this thing? Uh, by the gills. By the gills? Oh, we're doubled up. By the gill. You know what? Oh, I think I see what you mean. Is by that gills. sharp or not? Not sharp. What? No, I know uh, no, oh, they're kind oh, of sharp. Oh, oh. We struggled all day. All took a stream. I was like, I'm. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna make it easy on you guys. So, all right, my first flounders. We'll let him go. Be free. Turns out the live shrimp smoked the artificial, but I'm gonna throw the artificial now. That's the last one in there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna throw the artificial and see what we. 
Is there? No way. I don't think so. Oh, there is one more. One more? Yeah. All right, cool. We would like to thank our sponsor, Cash Money, for paying for all these live shrimp. <laughs> nope, I got some. He just wasn't shaking. Okay, now he's going. Yeah, I do have something. There was no head shakes, and then all of a sudden, boom. What are we talking about here? This one feels a little bit heavier. I have no clue. I haven't seen it yet. It's uh, another one. Another flounder. I think so. Yeah, because he's, he's pulling pretty hard for uh, his size. It looks like it. Woo! <laughs> Same, just a little bit bigger. I got to wear this thing out. By the way, this is eight pound braid. <laughs> back to back on the live shrimp, so I'd say they work. Check him out. What the heck? Big old flounders. I'm pretty sure to grab these guys, you just kind of go under the side there, but uh, we just gonna let them go. There you go, bud. Have fun down there. We switching back to the artificial now. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get some on the artificial shrimp now. Salt native. I'm gonna just let it sit at the bottom and see if uh, something will come hit it. Okay, look at this. Yo, infinity pool. A Little bit of good structure. I think I'm gonna finish off right here, y'all. See if I can't get something on the salt native shrimpy. Oh, bites. The shrimp. He didn't pick it up though. There he goes. Oh. Dang, they're on it though. All right, y'all, what a day. We just got the kayaks loaded up. Tons of new species the channel has never seen before on some live and artificial shrimp. Fishing some crazy areas out here on Anna Maria Island in Florida with Fishing with Becca. Go ahead and check her out down in the description. Now, Devin and her father are taking the yaks out. Becca and I are gonna go hit some, uh, I think we're gonna go do some pond fishing, man. Try and get on some largemouth bass out here. See what kind of caliber you guys are dealing with here in the area. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, and we will see you then. Peace out.